Mr. Lalit Virtunga, uh, Secretary to the President, and uh, Professor Appa Singhe, Mr. Anusha Palpite, uh, Palpite uh, Mr. Prashant Devapura, Rajneesh Singh, and of course, my friend Hasha, our President of ISOC Sri Lanka chapter. And my dear friends, uh, thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for being here. I know there were some traffic issues and uh, which delayed the start somewhat, but somehow I think all of you have managed to find the alternative route or whatever and get here even though maybe it's slightly late. So those who were late, don't worry too much. We all know uh, that uh, there were some issues. <coughs> so, but what is really important is the people. I mean, you cannot have a conference with only speakers. So what we really value are all of you being here today. So I hope you will find this, the two days of the conference, really valuable because we have some really, really excellent speakers, both from the region as well as from Sri Lanka. And I believe that you will enjoy it a lot. And of course, I have to thank Mr. Alit Virtunga, Secretary to the President and uh, Chairman of the TRC, and also a person who has been very, very much involved with the ICTA over the last uh, seven years and has really, I think, helped to bring Sri Lanka to what it is today as far as ICT is concerned, because without him, I do not think that even His Excellency the President would really understand what is ICTA. So whenever I believe that, whenever Mr. Uh, our His Excellency Mr. Mahindra Rajapaksa talks about ICT, we do see Mr. Rathiratunga behind him to make sure that the correct message, the correct facts are presented to the President. So thank you very much, Mr. Virtunga, and we really appreciate your talk and also all the work we have done over the last several years in bringing Sri Lanka to this position. Uh, in addition to that, I'd like to thank Professor Appa Singh, the chairman of the ICT agency, who again has always been supportive of everything we do. So although he is not one of the people who make a lot of noise, whenever something is needed to be done, he is there. And whenever we say, shall we do this, he always says yes. And or at least he says, well, if he says no, it's no. And then he gives a very good reason why it's no. And then realize, yes, that's the thing. And he comes up with a way of doing it as well. And also, uh, Rashan and Anusha, the CEOs of ICTA and TRC, who were always behind us and were helping us to both form ISOC as well as hold this event. And of course, Mr. Rajneesh Singh, the regional director of ISOC, who, first of all, uh, when I, he, we were discussing setting up the ISOC Sri Lanka chapter, and we set it up on last November, so just, just a few months ago. In fact, the inauguration, the formal inauguration was just in last March, just a couple of months ago. Uh, and uh, when we were discussing with him regarding setting this up, we said, we want to hold an INET. And I'm, I was actually a bit surprised when he said, yes, of course, because the chapter was not even formed at that moment. And uh, he already said, yes, why don't you go ahead and organize INET. I think that shows that he has confidence in us, the committee, the people behind uh, ISOC Sri Lanka, to organize it, and I hope that we have repaid his trust by organizing a very good event. Then I need to uh, thank all our sponsors, Etisalat, Intel, Cisco, and Sri Lanka Telecom, as well as uh, news360.com, and our supporting organizations, whom I, have, I think I already thank most of the time, uh, ICTA, Telecom Regulatory Commission, University of Moratua, University of Colombo School of Computing, Lanka Education and Research Network and LK Domain Registry, who have really helped us in many, many ways in making this happen. And of course, the people who made this happen, all our volunteers. So ISOC is a membership organization. It's not a commercial organization. 
and we do not have any employees whatsoever. So this entire thing was organized entirely by volunteers and I will not try to mention all the names, but I will mention just a very few names. Uh, first of all, our president, Harsha, who was always there and you know, generally every day almost, I used to get a call around eight o'clock saying, oh Giha, there's a problem. And I said, no, no, let's, it's not a problem. We'll somehow sort it out. Uh, and who managed to do many, many things, many telephone calls and uh, emails and so on to get all this done. Uh, Mahia, who was running around, I think, pretty much organizing the entire event, standing at the back there. Yeah. Uh, and also Geetika, who is, I think, maybe outside, uh, who was very much running around getting sponsors and so on. And uh, I do not want to mention everybody else because I will leave many other people out. So uh, I will not mention, but we had many, many volunteers from LK Domain Registry, University of Colombo School of Computing, uh, University of Moratua, Jayawadhanapura, Open University, uh, SLIIT, and then several other places. I'm sure I've missed out one or two because really it's entirely done by volunteers, so we said, who wants to help? And many people, you know, virtually raised their hands over the internet. And uh, in fact, uh, some of the people who were very much behind, behind this, I had only met the first time uh, during the organizing of this meeting. So that really shows how much the internet and the virtual community can be used. Uh, also, finally, I'd like to thank uh, Hilton Colombo for helping us very much and uh, allowing us whatever request we made. The Center for Information Technology at the University of Moratua, as well as uh, UCSC uh, Language Technology Research Center and other branches of UCSC for all the help they have given. Uh, Open University for allowing some of their staff to help us. Uh, the registration desk was manned by Open University. Uh, and the ICTA for organizing the press conference. And also, all the other people who worked hard to make this happen, who maybe I did not thank individually. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Gihan, for proposing the vote of thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the opening ceremony. Or rather the